In this video for the Instant Weather app, I will discuss all things about locations. How to add and delete a location. How to turn notifications on and off. How to check the location that you've entered to make sure it is where you think it is. As well as other information about locations. First off, there are two ways to get to the locations page. One is through the menu in the upper left hand corner and you can click on locations and that will get you to, to the locations list. And you can go back to the menu and go home and you'll get back to the, the location you were on. Another way is through the magnifying glass in the upper right hand corner. That's a bit quicker. So now I will demonstrate three, and I guess possibly four ways to enter a location. First is a city name or a town name. So I'm going to enter Edmonton. And then you just click on the, the choice that was brought up and I will say yes, I want to enable locations. If, for example, you add a province name, which came up recently, so let's say you entered Quebec, maybe thinking you were getting Quebec City, and you, you click on uh, yes for it. But then a quick way to check to see if you have the correct location is to go to Live Radar. And you'll see that this is nowhere near Quebec City. So if you really want Quebec City, you have to enter Quebec City. And now if I go to Live Radar, you can see that I've actually got the city of Quebec. Another way is to enter the postal code. So I'm going to enter a postal code here. And it's for Winnipeg. And then you can again, uh, this time I'm going to say no, and uh, so I can demonstrate something in the future. We offer forecast worldwide. So I could enter the postal code for a place in the United States, for example. So I'm going to enter a pretty famous postal code. And you'll see there's a couple different, a few different um, choices. So I'll just choose the first one. I'm going to say no for now because at the moment we do not have alerts. So we wouldn't get any notifications anyway. You can also enter an exact address. And I have a shortcut so I don't have to type it all in. And you can see if you partly enter it, it will, it will do some searching and come up with a, some possibilities. So this is at the University of Toronto. And I will say yes for that one. As a fourth example, if you know the name of an attraction, you could enter it, and, but you don't know its address. You could try entering it and our search function may be able to find it. So for example, Rogers Center in Toronto, where the Blue Jays play. The name doesn't matter that is displayed that you can see. What matters is the GPS location associated with that name. So sometimes we'll use a different service provider and it may come up with a, a neighborhood name instead of your, your city name. And 
that's um, don't worry about it you know check with live radar to see where it thinks it is and uh, that's that's the important part because we have forecasts worldwide I can add a couple more locations I'm going to add London England And you'll see you're given two choices, London, Ontario, or London, England, and I'm going to choose London, England. And I'm going to say no to notifications because it won't matter because we don't have alert data anyways. Then I'm also going to add in Orlando, Florida. And again, I'll say no to no push notifications. So if we go to the locations list again, you can see that there is a list of locations here. I'll first go over the push notifications, which is the bell. When it's green, it means that your device will receive push notifications. When it's white, it means that push notifications are off. So I, for example, I decide that yes, I do want push notifications for Winnipeg. So I'll turn, I'll click on the bell and it'll turn it green. And then let's say I do not want push notifications for the Rogers Center, which is the Blue Jays way. And I'll click on the green bell and I'll turn it off. So you'll notice that there are white garbage cans next to the bell, and this is how you can delete a location. So let's say you put in Orlando, Florida, because you went on a trip there. Now you want to delete it. You can just hit the white garbage can, and it'll ask you to confirm that you want to delete it. You'll notice at the top where your follow me location is, that's where the crosshairs are, there is a grayed out garbage can. And that's because at the moment we cannot delete this follow me location. And again, to indicate how you can double check, like you just see London, you don't know if it's which London it is. You can click on London, click on live radar, and then you can see that it is, it is actually in, in London, England. So going back to the um, locations, you'll see that there's information on the locations page. Um, uh, icon indicating roughly what the conditions are, word description, temperature, what the wind speed is. And if you notice, the arrow actually is the direction of the wind speed. This information is current of as when you last looked at that location in detail. When you click, when you, when you visited the page, for example, here's Quebec City. If in two weeks you come back to this page, the data will be out of date. It will be from the last time you visited it. If you were, let's say you were, you were looking at a location and you say, oh, I want to check my home location again. You can go to the menu, click on the little down arrow, and you can pick any location that's in that list. So I'll choose, choose the top one. Also related to locations is a setting. And I'll go into the menu, go into settings. And I will sc scroll down, and there's the location update frequency. So the default is every five minutes, which is low battery usage. You can change it to 10 minutes. You can say no. But if you do this, your follow me location will never be updated. You can do every minute, which uses more battery. Or you can say every, every 10 seconds. If 
your follow me location, oh, sorry, go home, is not keeping up to date. You can double check that setting. You can also um, go into settings, scroll down to get to technical settings and clear the cache. That sometimes will reset, reset the um, location. Some devices, especially Android devices, when they get low on power, they may say, oh, I'm not going to be updating the GPS information. So that may be when you will experience this too. Turning airplane mode on and off will sometimes help. And also make sure that your location services is on. As well as going to the locations list, you can also switch locations by just swiping to another location 